brings you our tale of the tape for Carl Thompson versus Dustin Rodriguez. And you can see here, Sean, every 3.2 pound representing Ham, Germany. Please welcome Dustin Teddy Rabiga. And now welcome his opponent in the blue corner. This fighter weighed in at 202.8 pound. Representing Sheffield UK from Call the Beast from the East, Thompson. Round number one. Black and gold trips. He with the step in left hand. Right to the body. Here comes Carl Thompson moving forward. Fast start for these 205 pounders, Chris. They gotta like it. Both these guys are coming right after each other. They're not out there to feel each other out there. They're there to knock the other person out. Two to the body, not there from Rabiga. Overhand left for Dustin Rabiga. There's the right hand left to the body from Thompson. Big swings from both men. And right uppercut. That draws a reaction from this Newcastle crowd. Step in, right hand from Carl Thompson. Polo punch to the body from Thompson, showing the creativity. Took on a step back for Rabiga. Rabiga to the inside. Sean, what I'm loving the way that both these guys are stepping into their punches. They're trying to make them count. Rabiga punching the. Pumping the jab from the southpaw stance. And down goes Carl Thompson. Looked like a flash knockdown, Sean. Landed good. You can see on the top of his head right now a little bit of a bump right there, but I don't think it did a lot of damage. Let's see. There's the mandatory eight from Alan Jackson. Right back to it. 40 seconds remaining, round number one. Thompson resetting off the canvas. Thompson again coming forward. Rabiga now into the clinch. Quick separation by Alan Jackson, right back to it. Good left hook lands from Thompson. Rabiga walking through that into the clinch. Break again from Alan Jackson, keeping this cruiserweight bout moving. A step in right hand again from Thompson in the orthodox stance. Over the head, that immediately draws the break from Alan Jackson. Fighters back to the center circle. Double left hooks from Thompson. That was slick. Just now, Sean. See, there's one of those good left hands right there. Thompson doing a good job of countering, but you have to be perfect. Look, just, just take one punch just like that. When Amiga comes in like that, awkwardly, that left hand landed, knocks you open. Sportsmanship continues as we start round number two. Exploding to the inside again, Dustin Rabiga. That's where he landed the knockdown punch in round one. From the inside, there's the straight right hand for Thompson. Chris, that punch has been there thus far in this fight for Carl Thompson. Left hand, right hand from Thompson. Been great counter left hooks from Carl Thompson right here. So now to the body. See Rabiga circling to his right from the southpaw stance. Jab to the body, not there. To the inside. Now the call of break from referee Allen Jackson. And that's one thing we've noticed not a lot of work in these clinches so far. Right hand again. Rabiga running through. Steps back with that left hand of Thompson. And 10 remaining, round number two. This is a good opener to our BKFC 46 card from here in the north of England in Newcastle. A lot of hard punches are being landed. That a lot more being thrown, you can see right there for Abiga. However, Thompson in a much higher percentage. We get to the body, walk down pressure, good left hook again from Carl Thompson. And that's been the punch for Thompson. That left hook's been the one that's really been dominating this fight so far. There's another one. Left hand that moves Rabiga off his striking line. Thompson holding his ground in the center circle, coming forward, left hand, right hand, right hand from Rabiga. Both fighters having their moments. The momentum swinging back and forth. Rabiga's got to watch it. He's dropping his hands right now. That could be devastating. Rabiga again running into the pocket. Thompson cut outside of his right eye. Step in right hand from Thompson. Thompson has been timing that. Throwing that naked two as Rabiga runs into the pocket. Closing seconds, round number two. Left hook just misses from Thompson. Right hand, left hand. Rabiga walks through that into the clinch. Next stop, round three. And if I'm in the camera, keep that right hand up. There's a good combination right there. 
I was just waiting for his time to counter. There's some of those left hands being thrown. Those didn't land. That one did. That was one that knocked his opponent backwards, did the most damage. Look at those good hooks that are being thrown by times like Rubik. Stepping right hand again from Carl Thompson. It's beautiful, you got that left hand versus right hand. That straight punch is what's always open. Obviously a double slip. Sporting touch of hands right back to it. Hands high and tight for Carl Thompson. There's that right hand again. Right down the pipe, beautiful. Stepping in, stepping outside that lead foot. And the lead left hook and the naked two, that step in right hand for Thompson. Those have been his two significant punches and on cue, there's that left hook. There's that right hand. And you can just look at that bit deep side. He's saw Rubiga take. He's getting tired out there. Good left hand again. Rubiga trying to reset. Rubiga's got to keep that right hand up. He's not doing it. That hook is landing at will. Ruled a slip by referee Allen Jackson telling Rubiga, get right back to your feet. 105 remaining round three left hand. Down goes Dustin Rabiga. Here comes the count from referee Allen Jackson. Jackson stops this fight, and the come from behind win for Carl Thompson. And so we start for both guys. They both came out and went for it. There's that left hook once again. And once Thompson saw that his opponent was a little hurt, he jumped all over. Didn't give him a break. Stayed on throwing hard punch. Look at that left hand. Just, that was that will. That was a punch that really changed the fight, in my opinion. That ruled a slip. Yeah. Again, you can see the exhaustion of Rubiga. And it was a left hand that did the damage. A little shoulder shrug kind of finished it off, but it was a left hand that hooked. No knockout. Call the beast from the East, Thompson. And Sean, I love the way Carl Thompson came out there, threw hard punches from the beginning, dealt with some adversity, got knocked down, came back to get the victory. I cannot wait to see him fight again. Quality from both men, both making their respective bare-knuckle fighting champions.